Hello everybody, this is RG with an overview of the most important news that I think are important, so stay tuned if you're interested in my opinion. Uh, so the first thing is the Void. It was announced this week and uh, it's basically a virtual reality in the real world. So they're using a uh, real world setting and uh, virtual reality headset combined to create this awesome experience for anyone who wishes it. Uh, they are planning to build uh, entertainment centers all over the world, uh, in, in Asia, Europe and uh, Americas as well, Northern and South as well. And it looks quite cool. I mean, it's an ambitious project. I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna come to live but I really hope so because I would definitely go and check that out uh, also all the links uh, to the old articles and including this video will be posted in the description below this video so if you want to check it out you can do so but enough of this let's talk about other news so recently I said uh, some things about AMD graphics cards and it looks like this year they're not going to be uh, producing any good ones with exception of R9 390 uh, which is going to be released quite soon and hopefully we will see some real improvements over the previous 290 models but in 2016 it 2016 is going to be a pretty promising year because uh, both Nvidia and AMD are going to introduce their 16 and 14 nanometer fabrication processes and uh, new architectures. So, for example, AMD are focusing on high performance with with a better energy efficiency, which I was calling for 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 a really long time now because you know AMD graphics cards are not very power efficient and that's where the Maxwell architecture with Nvidia are winning uh, at the moment but in 2016 they plan to release their new architecture what GCN 1.4 and uh, use HBM uh, memory second generation of that memory um, as well but Bear in mind that NVIDIA are going down the same road, so they will be uh, neck and neck in this competition. And as you can see, uh, AMD are also planning to do some uh, good CPUs, so we should be able to see uh, some good CPUs from AMD next year, and I hope that they will deliver what they promise. Also, congrats to AMD because they have 100 million units with GCN architecture installed. So yeah, they are still quite big, even though Nvidia have a huge market share at the moment of uh, graphics and processing units, but AMD are still big. And the last but not least is Intel's roadmap for the desktop platforms. And um, we should be seeing uh, new processes coming out in the second half of this year. Uh, it will be i7 and i5, Broadwell and Skylake processes. It doesn't mean that you'll have to go um, to run into the shop and buy uh, an upgrade from your Devil's Canyon or any other 47 um, models or 47, 46 models which are something like i5-4670K or i7-4770K are still going to be good and they're going to have similar performance to what we are about to see released here. Uh, it's not gonna be any, any different in my opinion because from the looks of all the clocks, clock rates and turbo boosts and everything else the only thing that is different is the integrated graphics uh, they're going to be upgraded to iris pro 6200 graphics uh, the intel's new graphics but i don't know does anyone even use the the integrated graphics in i5 and i7 processors it's it's only it's only really good for 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 laptops if you want a laptop with a powerful CPU but uh, you don't want uh, 
a, uh, an, ex uh, an additional graphics, you know, to pay for NVIDIA or AMD graphics, you can just go for that CPU and it will be still uh, able to handle a lot of tasks that you throw at it. Even playing like League of Legends is still fine. I'm not saying that you'll be able to play any AAA titles, uh, latest AAA titles, but uh, any older games are fine. So there we go. Um, in 2016 though, we should be able to see some uh, uh, higher clock rates on on the same Skylake and uh, Broadwell CPUs. So uh, really stay tuned for that and see if uh, anything interesting will be released then. As I said, don't go and upgrade uh, just yet because this is more for the people who are just getting their new hardware uh, from scratch. So building their new system from scratch. This is just a refresh of their current Devil's Canyon uh, lineup. So there we go. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of all of this? Are you going to look forward to this void? Uh, do you be interested in checking it out? Because I certainly will if uh, it becomes available in uh, in London. I will definitely go and check it out. But we shouldn't be expecting it to be done anytime soon because even virtual reality headsets are not perfected yet and there are no um, no consumer grade products for virtual reality out just yet. So yeah, until next time, RG out.